Mile in Cincinnati. Coming up tomorrow at NBC and coming up in about 35 minutes, Larry Holmes and Scott Frank. And just immediately ahead on the undercard, an interesting bout between junior middleweight Fred Hutchings and Kirkman Lang. I refinished this prospect out of Stockton, California. Fred Hutchings went up against veteran Kirkland Lang, the man who upset Roberto Duran a year ago, back last September. Let's pick up their bout in round nine. Mickey Duff putting on a show in the corner of uh, Kirkland Lang. Now screaming at Lang, you gave that last round away. This after the uh, good performance in the previous round. This is round nine, scheduled for 10. Junior middleweights, Kirkman Lang in the maroon trunks, and Fred Hutchings in the white. Mickey Duff fighting a better fight in the corner than his fighters fighting inside the ring. Although, if you know Mickey Duff and his combative spirit, you know it's hard to take two losses in a row. Last night, the um, wonderful Boza Edwards, who's always gives you 100%, got beat in a wonderful fight with Rocky Lockridge on the uh, Arguello Friar uh, epic. And here's Hutchings chasing Lang. That right hand that's been landing all the time, bouncing off his chin. Look at how he holds his hands down. Kirkland Lang has not learned a lesson. Again, Hutchings able to snap the jab. He snaps his head back with regularity every round. It's amazing he didn't have a whiplash by the time he gets through with this. Lang, a very difficult fighter to solve. The quickness of Hutchings, height differential. Well, you see why he has difficulty finding work. He didn't fight for a year. Who would want to put his fighter in with Kirkland Lang? Who would want to? Nice right hand by Hutchings. You're going to get 10. Oh, what a hook by Hutchings. High on the forehand, though. Lang taking a tattooing does not seem to have a clue as to how to fight back. Another good scoring round for Fred Hutchings out of Stockton, California. You know, you, you don't think that uh, factors come into a fighter's career. The fact that he's out of Stockton, California, and not out of New Jersey or New York, has stopped his career. You can't go out there to, to do a fight. They don't seem to be able to get good fights. And therefore, you have a terrific talent like this, and you can't get him to big fights. If he lived around uh, New Jersey, New York area, he'd be fighting every two months. And that is why there have been many who have moved to the uh, Jersey area, although Hutchings has fought on several occasions in Las Vegas. Now, there we are live in the dressing room of WBC heavyweight champion Larry Holmes getting sent to defend for the 16th time. Coming up, Scott Frank here in Atlantic City, New Jersey. And that is about a half hour away here on NBC. Let's go to the 10th and final round. Junior middleweights, Kirkland Lang, Fred Hutchins. Tenth and final round. It's been all Fred Hutchings. He's in the white, Kirkland Lang in the maroon. Lang out of London, England has taken a pasting. He's been the aggressor from time to time, but it's been all Hutchings. Tremendous right hand by Hutchins to open the 10th round. Oh, good left hook. And Lang in trouble for the first time. He buckled. Oh, he appears to be on his way down. He's holding on. Even look at the referee. Look at the way he's trying to pry him apart. And we're very early. Tapped round. Lang is trying to shake himself loose as Hutchings looks to finish him off. Good right hand by Hutchings. 
There's Hutchings putting Lane down. Oh, oh he went down hard. He hit his, oh, hit his head on the canvas. He hit his head so hard on that canvas. I hope to have a batting. Here comes the doctor. Here comes the doctor immediately. That was too hard. Too hard a hit on the head. Very quick call by the referee, Cappuccino, at the ringside positions in to check it out. Kirkland Lang went down and hit his head. You could hear the impact as Hutchings buckled Lang early in the round and then took him out as Lang tried to hold on. That's one of the most dangerous type of knockouts. It's not that the punch hurts you. It's that the back of the head hits the unpadded area and that was heard all the way across the ring here at our broadcast position and immediately the New Jersey doctors were right on top of him. They did not even wait to see the count. Dr. Daggett was right through the ropes. It's odd that this marks the first time that New Jersey uses a very heavily padded bottom rope. The fourth rope is very heavily padded. And uh, was pointed out to me today by the commissioner, said that's one of the things when they fall, they hit that bottom strand. And I've always been a big exponent of padding the outside of the ring a lot because the head falls into the outside of the uh, ring. Doctor looking at checking the reflexes. Dr. Daggett checking the reflexes of the eye. The uh, fighter's apparently talking to Daggett. He's moving his legs. Reflexes are being tested by a, a neurological hammer. One doctor's working on the extremities. The other doctor working uh, on the head. The most important thing is to keep a boxer down, not to let him get up in a hurry. There's no point in getting up until the doctor certifies that he's good, that nothing's wrong, and then let him get up by stages. First to sit down at the, at the uh, stool, which is already there and ready for him, should Daggett let him get up, Dr. Daggett. Kirkland Lang talking to the physicians, that's a good sign. Moving his glove around, now just getting up. He's gonna sit down in the stool first. Jersey Athletic Commission. The way they handled that was perfection. They jumped in before the referee even had a chance to say anything and were right on the duck. All right, a look now at how Fred Hutchings ended this bout. A big hit by Hutchings, a left hand that buckled Lang. This is early portion, round 10. First time that Lang was hurt and Lang tried to regroup went for the clinch now later on seconds later on the round here's the big right hand by Hutchings Lang trying to hold on down it goes and there's the head making contact with the canvas he was down for several minutes the ringside physicians able to get in and uh, Kirkman Lang looks to be all right yeah Mickey Duff just came over here making signals and he's okay he's shaking up but he was okay he looks fine and clear now so fortunately, Lang is all right. There's Freddie Hutchings with another impressive performance. TKO, round 10. So Hutchings now, record of 23 at 1, 16 by knockout. And back live in Atlantic City. We'll be back in just a moment to talk with Muhammad Ali. Oh, for the...